Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an express tour on SQL. Okay, so topics we're going to cover today include uh, create statement, describe command, insert statement, select statement, update statement, delete statement, and drop statement. Okay, so let's talk about create statement first. This is a syntax on the screen for create statement. It's used to create tables, and tables are objects that store data. Uh, within it okay so this is the syntax create table then you specify the table name and within the brackets you specify the list of columns along with their data types so let's uh, take a look at this statement in action so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into an application called Oracle Express you'll be learning to install this application in the next tutorial it's a free software you should install it and uh, start practicing your SQL and PLSQL in this software okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in into uh, Oracle Express and this is the list of options I get I'm gonna click on SQL but, uh, icon here and then I'm gonna click on SQL commands icon here okay so in the next tutorial you're gonna learn how to install the software as well as how to uh, use it okay so the whole objective of this tutorial is to give you a little flavor of what SQL is so I'm not gonna make you an SQL expert in this tutorial so it's a gradual step-by-step -step learning process so uh, subsequent tutorials will be talking about each of these commands in detail plus lots of other commands so just keep the perspective in mind the whole idea of this tutorial is to give you a flavor on SQL so let's create a table so why do we create a table if you want to store a data about some entity in real world that uh, uh, you want to uh, have information about that entity for your business requirements so that's that's why you create a table in the database and all the attributes of that entity that you're interested in uh, would be represented as table columns in the database for example if I want to store information about my friends the co uh, about my contact uh, all my contacts so I'm going to create a table uh, and call it contact okay so create table contact and what uh, columns I want to uh, create in this table depends on what attributes I want to I'm interested in in the entity contact for example I'm interested in in storing the first name and the last name about my contact information as well as I'm interested in storing the phone numbers okay and maybe not at this point I'm not really interested in storing the addresses so in the bracket I'm gonna provide the list of all the uh, uh, column names for this table and uh, whatever attributes you're interested in should be represented uh, as column names now beside the column names you need to specify what kind of data this column would be storing so there mainly there are two kind of data you can store numeric data or alphanumeric data so of course first name columns would take alphanumeric values in it right so uh, you have to uh, in order to tell Oracle that this column would be storing alphanumeric values the data type called var chart 2 is used initially uh, uh, like uh, Oracle reserved the word war char for some of for the coming versions, but now the word char two is basically is the norm to use for uh, alphanumeric data types, right? So just understand that this is the alphanumeric data type. Don't go into why war char two, not why not war char. So that's pretty much it. And within if it's a alphanumeric column, then you have to tell Oracle what's the maximum uh, uh, size of of text this uh, column can take um, so uh, let's say the maximum first name that we could handle we could be we would be storing in on the database would be let's say 30 okay so this is a requirement that you have to if you if you are specifying the type of a column to be varchar 2 then you have to specify the maximum size of, of any value that can go in that column okay and now we're going to put a co comma here because each column uh, must be separated by a comma in this create uh, table syntax so the second column is last name and basically it would have the same definition varchar 2 of let's say 30 it would be the maximum length of any last name we would be storing and uh, phone number we could make it numeric but al uh, alphanumeric would make more sense because there are dashes and brackets in the phone number as well so let's say varchar 2 and 15 is the maximum uh, size of the value <laughs> that would go in this column that will take care of international numbers now we want to put an ID column here okay 
and for each contact we will issue a new ID the first contact would be one two three four the reason is it's very important in relational databases that each record is uniquely identified and uh, like uh, usually in table we put some sequence numbers that are declared as primary keys I'm going to tell you what primary keys are in coming tutorials but just understand that uh, these sequence type columns guarantee the uniqueness of each record so let's say there could be a case where you have a have uh, two uh, for example you know two people by the same first name and last name and they're sh sharing the residence so then uh, you will have two records of, of exactly same uh, values and this kind of a legal concept in relational databases how would you identify which person is which because in real life they're two different people so there has to be always uh, some kind of unique identifier so we're going to just in, uh, include an ID column here and the uh, uh, ID column would take numeric values in it so the data type would be number now it's not required for number type to specify uh, the the limit like what's the maximum number it could take but uh, uh, so three would be the uh, scale of the number but uh, why we just gonna t tell Oracle that hey ID is a number column and it can take the maximum number allowed so that's pretty much it so this is the create uh, statement and it's going to create a table okay so uh, what I can do is I can just click on the run button here or I can basically uh, just press select the whole statement and uh, press control enter there's a shortcut to run the statement okay so I can see the message table created in this much time okay so table has been created now let's go back to the slides okay the next uh, command we're going to talk about is a describe command so describe command can give you structure of any table that already exists in the t in the system so this is a syntax describe table name so if I go back to my uh, Oracle Express and I write here describe contact and I run this statement by selecting the whole the whole uh, st uh, command and uh, pressing control enter I should get uh, the structure of the table at the bottom section here you can see all the columns are listed here and along with their data type and maximum length allowed okay so uh, that's what the describe command does so describe command is not officially part of structured query language it's more of a command uh, for this query tool so that's why I call it a command not a statement okay so uh, let's go back to the tutorial next uh, statement we're going to look at is insert statement this is the syntax insert into the table name and values and bracket you specify all the values that you want to insert into table so obviously insert statement is used to insert records into the table okay so let's insert a record into table contact okay so this is the insert statement like insert into table name is contact so in the bracket I'm going to provide all the values that I want to insert in this table. So numeric values you just enter without any code. So each value has to be separated by a comma. And all the text or alphanumeric values will go in single quotes. Okay. So uh, that's very important. Now the first column was uh, ID. So ID is one for this first record. And first name is Hassan. And last name is Mir. And let's say phone number is is this okay so uh, that's pretty much it now just keep in mind two things uh, all these statements and commands in um, SQL are not really case sensitive so I can write this insert statement in uppercase as well however the text values are case sensitive so HASA and in uh, this uh, title case is, is going to be uh, is a different value than HASA and in, in all uppercase okay so and also the spaces are not really important and the lines are not really important. I can write the whole a whole insert statement in one line or I can divide this into multiple lines. So the spacing is uh, is not really important. However, there has to be at least one space between uh, each logical keywords, right? For example, insert a space into is a legal uh, usage and insert into without any space is a legal usage. So I just keep that in mind about SQL. So I'm just going to run this command. So statement running. Uh, it's I forgot the keyword values here. Okay. So insert into table name values and then in the bracket all the list of values you specify. 